Hi and welcome. I'm Simon from Sailing Britikin and today I'm going to tell you eight easy steps on how to do med mooring with mooring balls and that is mainly used here in the Caribbean. This video will benefit you if you're coming in and doing med mooring with mooring balls. This will also benefit if you come down to Grenada because this was taken in Port Louis, which is the main marina here in Grenada. Step one, know before you go. What you want to be doing with that is finding out information. You can call up the marina and find out if you're going to be going stern two, or you're going alongside, or you're going on finger pontoons. And it's always a good thing to know that if you're going med mooring, what they're going to do, do you need to drop the anchor, going on to a mooring balls. You need to know what the layout is so you can prepare before you get in there. Two, you need to get the lines ready. You, if you're going stern two, you'll need definitely two on the back. And if you're going on a mooring ball, you'll definitely need two at the, at the bow. But sometimes they come out and meet you and take those lines away and put and attach them to the mooring balls first, which makes it a lot easier for you and for them. Also, you need to find out where you need to put the fenders. Do they need to be low? Do they need to be high? And what you should be doing is putting them on the fattest part of your boat because that's going to be more likely to touch the boat either next to you on either side. And the dinghy. What you need to do is we normally put it amidships because you don't want it too far at the back and you don't want it too far at the bow. Number three. What I like to do is I like to do a drive-by, get past there, have a look around, see where I'm going, see what the land lies and see if there's any hazards in the water what type of boats I'm going to next to. Are they going to be big super yachts or small little um, sailboats? Are they going to be a catamaran? How's the wind going? Is there any tide flowing? I want to know. That helps me with the preparation to going in. Also there, what I can then do is I can check on the fenders are in the right position. If I need to move them, I need to get the lines in slightly different positions and I might need to move my crew around a little bit. Number four, what you need to do then is line up the boat. Now what you want to be doing is finding out which way the wind is coming. That is probably the most important. The wind is going to affect the bow a lot. Now us with being a big boat, we have a bow thruster which really, really helps us. But certain boats don't have bow thrusters so you really have to concentrate. And what I do is I line it up and make sure which way the wind is going and if it's pushing me one way or the other and then I can bow thrust to compensate. And then I stick it into reverse and go backwards. Once I'm going backwards, I then make sure that I'm going fast enough that I can control the boat, but not too fast that it's going to get me into trouble. Because a lot of people get into trouble when they're going too fast. They're giving it, they're giving it too much revs, too fast, and they're getting there too quick, and then all disaster can happen. <laughs> Number five. So you're going backwards now. You're under control. You're going fast enough that you can get in there. So you have somebody that's on the bow, hopefully, and somebody that's on the stern lines then what you're doing is preparing. You make sure that you get to a certain point where you're a distance away from the dock that you're happy with. You stop it there, the lines go out. You make sure you always go to the windward side. Now the windward side is, if it's on this side of the boat, the wind's coming this way, so it's gonna blow the boat that way. So you wanna be getting that line on first and also the same line on the front as well at the same time if possible. What that does is it holds you there onto that side and it's not gonna push you too far over. If you go on the if you put on the leeward side what happens then the boat will go over and it can hit the boat on the next time and that's when you start having problems with the neighbors and you don't want that generally it's only just me and kim so what happens then is i then get the stern lines out first i get the stern lines out first windward side leeward side once they're secure i can then six put the boat into forward so i'm going forward so i'm pulling on the lines at the back and the boat pulls against the dock and then that will hold me in the position and if I've got a lot of wind and then I can bow thrust seven and then Kim will go up onto the onto the windward side and deal with the forward the forward line which will uh, hopefully the guys on the dock have taken it onto their boat which comes a lot easier they've already tied it to the mooring line and all they do then is pass it back to Kim or whoever's at the front of the dock and then we tie it off and then it goes onto the other side then we've got two two lines on the bow and two lines on the stern and that's when we start adjusting and getting the boat in the right position okay number eight once you've got all secured make sure you get all the lines exactly how you want it make sure the fender is in the right position and then you're feeling safe before you even switch the engine off you see too many people coming in 
they get one line on and they switch the engine off and I, I don't know why that is but a big no-no in my eyes anyway once your lines are secured switch the engine off and uh, get the power on and uh, go out get ready boat ready and then go out for a beer if you want to learn how to do this why don't you come and join us on Britaken and Kim and I will show you how it's done because we're doing a week to ten day long uh, Britaken experiences where you can come and learn not just how to do uh, more mooring stern two, but lots of other things anchoring going onto a mooring ball sailing man overboard and just come and enjoy some fantastic sailing areas and some beautiful beaches and restaurants <laughs>